Hi guys, and welcome back to Cue the Confetti. Today, we're gonna do something special. We're gonna do something we've never done before. We're gonna go on a virtual field trip. Gentry's grandparents, Lolly and Pops, are hobbyist beekeepers. That means they have bees that make honey. This is my Lolly and Pops. Lolly and Pops are beekeepers. But oh no, what you see here is a bee swarm. It looks like a football in a tree and it can happen when a beehive is too crowded. So another queen bee is hatched and she takes a group of bees with her. They gather around until they find a new place to live. Don't be frightened if you see a swarm. Just leave it alone and in three days or less they're usually gone. Since their bees have swarmed and flown away, they've gone to a nuke farm. This one is called Sabine Creek Honey Farm and it's run by their mentor, Mr. John Talbert. Nuke is short for a nucleus of bees that have a new healthy queen and lots of worker bees. They've come to buy some to take back to their house to start new hives. Pops goes with Mr. Talbert to inspect the ones that he has chosen for them to take home. Mr. Talbert opens the box and he first pulls out the feeder, which has sugar water to help feed the new baby bees. Then he pulls out the frame, which has hexagonal shaped cells that we call honeycomb. He looks very closely to see the rainbow shape, which tells us there's a brood, or baby bee larvae, in the bottom half and above the rainbow shape is honey. The bees have capped it in white wax so it doesn't drip out, because this is what they feed the babies. He inspects each of the frames to make sure that they are healthy and active. That's a lot of bees. That's why he's wearing special gloves and head covering, with mesh covering his face, so the bees won't sting him. Just past his left hand is a smoker. This is used to put puffs of smoke around the bees before he handles the frames. The smoke helps the bees calm down and not be afraid of him. A bee is an insect that has three parts, a head with eyes, antenna, and mouth, a thorax, four wings and six legs, and an abdomen. That's where the stinger is. Guess what? All of these bees are girls and all of these bees have different jobs. There are worker bees who take care of the hive, foragers who go out and collect nectar and honey, construction workers build the beeswax for the queen to lay eggs and the workers to store the honey. There are even queen's attendant worker bees who bathe and feed the queen because she's so busy laying about 1,500 eggs a day. There are even guard bees who sit at the entrance to the hive and make sure no other kinds of insects or animals try to come inside. Bees are wonderful pollinators that help Lolly and Pop's fruit trees and garden grow, but best of all, they make honey. Lolly and Pop's harvest honey in the summer and the bees quickly make more honey to feed the colony during the winter.
Mr. Talbert is looking for the queen bee. There she is. She's got a longer abdomen than the other bees. That's how you can tell the difference. Lolly and Pops take their bees home and Pops carefully takes out the frames to place them in the bottom box or the brood box. See, he has a smoker too. The bees are excited after making the drive to their house, so he gives them a few puffs of smoke to calm them down. Once the four nucleus frames are placed in the box, Pops adds five more empty frames so they have room to spread out and grow. He has to shake the last few out of the box. The lids are placed on the top and the bees are moved in. When the colony grows, Lolly and Pops add more boxes with frames inside. A healthy hive can grow very quickly. Sometimes too quickly, bees build honeycomb to whatever space they have. I think they were building a roller coaster here. Here, Pops is cutting off the caps of the honey stored in the honeycomb. Then the frames are placed in a large vat that spins really fast to get all the honey out of the comb. We open the tap and watch all of that delicious honey fill our buckets. Yum! Lolly and Pops save all of the capping and honeycomb to give back to the bees. They come and clean every bit of the honey off, leaving Lolly and Pops with just the beeswax. Bees are really busy and very smart. Just listen to them buzz. I hope you learned a lot about bees today and enjoyed our virtual field trip. Come back tomorrow and we will show you how you can help the bees in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm.